I forgot where my monitors were for a second. Oh what was on what screen? Um, <laughs> but we're here, so it's fine. Oh my it's gosh! Sure. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome it's back sure. to Tales from Beyond the Galaxy. Um, we're so excited because Andor finally premiered. Um, yes. We're also tired because some of some of us have been up <laughs> forever, forever, just to watch Andor. Um, yeah. My name is Jordan. Uh, Tracy was just in here. Don't know what happened, but I'm he'll he'll join us back in a second. He wasn't here last week, but he'll he'll be back. Um, but I have content. I have to look this way now to look at you. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm doing grand. How there are you? Is. I was yeah, up till four in the morning. Uh, yesterday or this morning, what am I talking about? <laughs> this morning, watching Andor. Um, yeah, and I got to hang out with our friend Hannah over at the Ray side. Yeah, uh, thanks to her for the uh, um, content and the Andor premiere countdown fun time and um, the trivia. <laughs> yeah. It was worth it. Oh yeah, it was so worth it. It was so worth it. Okay, it was so worth it. Um, I'm looking at the Twitch stream, and I'm not really sure why it's blurry. Hopefully, it'll fix it. So, oh well, that's because on Twitch the quality's 160p. Okay, there we go. I changed it to 1080. It was fine. Okay, great. Um, but let's keep it rolling because we got a lot to talk about today. We got we got Hot D. We got She Hulk. We I got uh, some special guests. We got what is that? It's Andor. It's oh, I was like, what the hell funny. is that? Um, it's the man of the hour. We got Andor. We got She-Hulk. We got special guests talking about some special amazing things that look so good. I want to eat them all. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, Anna, introduce our guests. Okay. So, we have uh, two guests. I don't want to tell you what to do. <laughs> we have um, two guests today. Um, Jean and Jennifer. Um, so they, uh, Jean has a, um, little, what is it, entity called Screen Marketing, um, and she's here to tell us all about that, and then we'll also have Jennifer, uh, in the chat too, uh, and she also has some really awesome goodies to share yes. with us, her amazing, famous fat crons. Um, which will also be included in what Jean's going to be introducing to us. Um, and the, yep, let me. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them in so we can talk to them because I'm so excited. Okay, like okay, bring them in. Bring them we in. can talk shop. Hello, okay. yay! Hello. Hi. Why is it this blurry? I have no idea what's going on, but it's we all blurry. struggling with the internet today. Trust me, it's fine. Yeah, it's like still like super laggy for me, like. Okay, it's all right. I still look beautiful. It doesn't matter. Period. <laughs> you look amazing. Period. I would start singing the James Blunt song, but I don't want to get us DCMA'd. Please don't. <laughs> you know, um, uh, yikes. Hey, guys. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Jean. How are you? Hello. Hi. Thanks for having us. Of course. Is there anything that you want us to know about why you're here and your amazing endeavor endeavors that we don't know about or maybe we do know about you just want to emphasize so um a little backstory um first of all we appreciate tells from beyond the galaxy for putting us on the show we are a api slash pro api female lead marketing company mainly doing two projects. Um, one, I won't talk about too much today. I do represent some of the Houston restaurant scene, uh, social media effort. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. on the other side, we have this very exciting project that we have been running for one year. It's called Supreme Dessert Box Project. So uh, seasonally, we come back with different theme, uh, working with local talents, vendors, uh, bringing all these deliciousness all in one dessert box. So this time we're coming back in full with a full theme. It is called Celestial Box. It's separated into 
two boxes because we have too many talented people. So there is Constellation and Galaxy, each of the box with four amazing desserts. And then Jennifer can talk more about uh, her contribution to this box. Hello, hello. Working with can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm contributing a Big Mac or a Korean style macaron in this box. And I think I've been working with Jean since the beginning of this. Have I been with you since the beginning? Yes, almost. You. Uh, so we got to know each other from last year around this time for a Halloween box. So it was a box full of Halloween looking goodies separated into vampire box and zombie box. Well, it's actually crazy because I met her before I really even started Big Macs. So I met with her and I was just kind of telling her like the business plan at this point. I hadn't really got everything off the ground yet, but in my mind, like I was seeing how everything was going to play out, the look of everything. And I was just trying to explain it to her and she's like, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then here we are uh, a year over a year later and Big Max is just completely taken off. It's doing really really well so but it's like i knew it would like i had the vision in my mind and you know like you're just like i just got to bring this to life and i knew it was going to do well so we're right. doing great um we make i think the best macarons in houston so we think we I all mean, think <laughs> I don't you don't think you it. know you know you make the best macarons in houston I, I don't think you go I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. Like, I, I think I make say the best. It. Well, and, and here's the thing. You know, I'm not throwing shade at anybody, but when I started this, I was like, these macarons, because everybody during COVID was making macarons. Everybody was on the macaron trend, you know? It's like, what are you going to do during lockdown? You know, everybody was going crazy. So I cooked for a living, and I was like, I'm going to make some macarons. I haven't made them forever. So I ended up making them and I was like, these cannot be, everybody's going crazy for them. I'm like, I don't remember them being this disgusting. <laughs> like just overly sweet and mushy and just, I'm like, this is, this can't be right. So this led me down the rabbit hole to start trying everybody's macarons, not only here in Texas, but I was like researching like, who in the United States has the best macarons? I was having them shipped from New York, California, like just anywhere that people were like, oh, these are the best. These are the ones to get. Everyone I tried. It didn't matter if it was pistachio, chocolate, cherry. They all tasted the same. They were all like just mushy and overly sweet. And I was like, no, I can do better than this. And that's how <laughs> Big Mac was started. Awesome. Love that. Love it. I'm here for it. Yes, yeah. we are. Um, so this Saturday, you guys will have a chance to try it. So come, 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 come see us. <laughs> yes. yes. I, I'm hopefully, hopefully I have some time in, this Saturday. Anyone that is in Houston, uh, I will be there at the coffee shop. I have a haircut appointment first, and then I'll be heading there um, to go pick up my box. I'm very excited. Yes, um, it's gonna be great. And I got the what box did I get? I got the um, Galaxy, Galaxy box? box. Yes, I did. And should we kind of introduce what these boxes look like and all the yes. amazing, yeah, yeah, things that are? Show me the boxes. <laughs> Box. Do you have Do you have it up, or do you want me to try and pull it up? Do it, do it in. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, but wow. before then, I do have a sample of the cookie from a uh, constellation box that I could show everybody. So, this nice. is like how beautiful it looks. <laughs> like it's shimmery. So, Love this it. is all, this is like a layer of oil <laughs> icing and then with glitter. And then she basically hand painted like these pattern of constellation individually. So for whoever orders, uh, we could fully customize it to whatever uh, constellation you want it to be at. So this is like the cookie part of the constellation box. Hell yeah. And here is the one picture I managed to get up in time of 
the other ones. Um, you can see my hand. Hey. Oh my, my gosh. Hand. There it is. Um, they, look at these. I like the little, is that a little astronaut eating a cookie? I love that. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that is the, uh, Jennifer's proud product called uh, Moon Man and His Cookie. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> she could talk all about uh, the flavor profile because she's doing something really well and unprecedented. Like, nobody has done this flavor ever. Jennifer, want to talk more about it? Okay, so I wanted to do something over the top because all my cookies are over the top, or I try to make the fillings anyways over the top. So I was sitting there and I was like, I want to do, it's it's a delicate balance when you're doing stuff like this because a lot of flavors, people hear like a word they don't know and they automatically don't want it because they don't know what's in it. So yeah. it's like that balance of trying to please everybody. Mm -hmm. So I was like, how, how can I do this but still put my own? spin on these cookies yeah so i'm like i'm really into rocky road ice cream right now <laughs> so i was like i want to do a rocky road flavored back rod but i want to do something special so i am going to put the astronaut freeze-dried ice cream in it and this is actually organic too so Okay, organic. Not gonna, come through organic. Not gonna lie, when you just showed that freeze dried ice cream, my mom, my my mouth literally started watering. This is <laughs> rocky road flavored, and I of course I had to open it and taste it to make sure it was good for everybody's cookies. It is phenomenal. It's Rocky Mountain freeze dried ice cream is the brand, and it's like over the top delicious. So not only is it gonna be Rocky Road flavored, but it's gonna have the astronaut ice cream in it, which I think is like the cutest thing ever i i don't know about you guys but when i was younger that was like the cool thing to eat was the freeze-dried ice cream like it was the you got the neapolitan one and it was like so delicious so that's my spin on this cookie is you'll have the little moon man and little freeze-dried ice cream in it so it yes. will marshmallows toasted almonds like your traditional ice cream and when you have my cookies you'll see that it they almost taste like ice cream it almost tastes like a little ice cream sandwich they don't taste like a regular macaron right if you guys are familiar with macarons mm -hmm. oh yeah i used to work in a candy shop and we sold them so i'm a little too familiar you got a little extra weight because of it but it's fine <laughs> i'm a little too familiar but it's okay um, trust me i know yeah I mean, they look amazing. And as soon as I try to get the other pictures up in the studio, I'm we're gonna show them off because I really like, I'm really liking what I'm saying, and I want everyone to see it. But until then, what you guys be watching on TV? You been watching She-Hulk, Andor, Andor just came out. Are you guys Star Wars people, Marvel people? What y'all watching? What y'all watching? What are you into? Tell us your. Uh, like I'll start here. Like. Unfortunately, I'm not too huge on Marvel. I'm more of a DC person and a diehard DC person. Okay, so DC. Okay, Batman, <laughs> Superman. Listen, I was I a like DC the, person before I was I a like Marvel the darkness fan, so. in life. Yes. I get it. I get it. I was a the DC person appears. well before I was a Marvel person. And even then, I still prefer DC over Marvel sometimes. So yes. I get it. Um, I can't yeah, I grew up on... Um, yeah, reading a lot of graphic novels from uh, DC and also from Vertical. So I'm yeah. more into like the indie genre of it. So a lot of the salmon, okay. of course. And then there is a <coughs> fable. Excuse me. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so I got two of the pictures up. And this is the one I really wanted to oh. see. I love yes, this. Okay. So this is from uh, another of our vendor. His name is David. So David created the Saturn Ring Bonbon. It is a brownie in the middle, so two like hemisphere, and then uh, coat it lightly with a uh, roll sugar, banana flavored, and then in between we're gonna switch it up using a lace cookie to kind of like sandwich and combine it all together, just to kind of mimic the idea of planets we like everything that we do to be super themed and on point so we're really fortunate to have him contribute such a wonderful piece to us and also a fun fact to that so according to a science news uh years ago claimed that the, if you were to be able to taste galaxy the center of galaxy 
has component of raspberry and rum. Which is uh, absolutely wild. Amazing. I thought I wanted to like drop it in just, you know, if it's a theme, if it's the title of the yeah. show too. Yeah, for sure. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They look amazing. Welcome back, Tracy. Hi. I'm sorry, my laptop. My laptop's acting mad buggy. That's okay. We forgive yeah, you this okay. time. Yeah. This time. So the other one of this, it's called uh, "The Night of the Comet." Madeline. Uh, we got inspired. Uh, we have this longtime partner called Ube Ko. So Jaira, we're talking about you. Um, she's Heck known yeah. as the best like Ube all sorts of pastry person what in town. Ube? And then, right. yes, <laughs> like her Ube tarts are to die for, but it's just so popular that we wanted to introduce a new product. Even though she is yeah. known for Ube tarts, we want something else. So we pitched her the idea like, try Madeline, and then you're going to make the ube jam in the middle runny and she's like that oh, is a wild no. idea i'm super on board and it kind of uh, mimics the look of a comic and then that's a uh, comment and then uh that's how we came about this idea and then uh we are also very fortunate to have her contribute and tolerate our absolutely crazy idea of this yeah the uh ube yeah. tarts are 100 I will say. I feel like the ube is kind of like macarons. Like, like people know who the best ube is. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. Like if you're in this pop up or food industry, like you, you know, you just know who is who in it. Like for yeah. anybody coming into it, they're just like, oh, it's all you know, whatever. It's not though. Like if you're in the game, you know. They're definitely, they're definitely uh, up there. Yeah, we only Heck, work with the best, yes. obviously. <laughs> Period. I love it. Um, wow, amazing. <sighs> what else? What else? What else? Oh man, I'm so tired, y'all. <laughs> Staying up. Uh, well, I actually went to sleep for a few hours, and then I woke up for the premiere. Um, it, that's just as tiring as staying up for the premiere. Turns out. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, let's see here. So you could have waited until this morning. You could have, both of you could have waited until this morning and watched it. No, because I have work at 7.45. Yeah, I have to leave the house at 7 o'clock, okay? Yeah, I Tracy. Too. I know you work. That wasn't the argument. <laughs> um. Anyways, let's uh, <laughs> check out some more goodies because um, let's see. Jordan, do we have any of the other? Um, I'm trying, y'all. I'm really trying my best to get all these things <laughs> in here. I'm really trying my best, TBH. Uh, 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 uh. Um, do you guys want to tell us a little bit about the uh, more uh, more information about the pop up that's this Saturday? It's this Saturday, right? Yes. Yes, it is the Saturday. So it's uh, September 24th on Saturday. We'll be there. Uh, so basically, we operate as doing a pre order. And however, our pre order deadline has passed. So you guys have missed out on the opportunity to pre order. But don't worry, you get to uh, walk in. We have, yes, I got in you guys are missing out on the best dessert box on the world, of course. Um, so we have five to 10 uh, boxes for walk in, five for each theme. Uh, please come see mm -hmm. us at Giant Leap Cafe. It is a astronaut NASA inspired themed coffee shop in Uptown. So we'll cool. be there from two to four. And then from eight to six, we'll be at Idle Hands, uh, close to Montrose area. So, uh, and then uh, for more information, uh, follow us on Instagram. We'll drop the link below so everybody knows where to find us and contact us. And we're super responsive on Instagram and any kind of social media. Yeah. Amazing. And if anyone wants to see me, I will be at Giant Leap picking up my <laughs> Now I was yeah. trying to set up a meeting degree already. <laughs> you know what? Fake it till you make it. Not even fake it till you make it, because we're going to make it. It's not even fake it at this point, so it's fine. Um, well, we're going to be the next best through. thing on Twitch, so it's fine. Ninja could never, so there's that. <laughs> Oops. Um, 
Who's and I'll be there. So, <laughs> yeah, if you have any Star Wars questions, feel free to go nick her and bug her. And if you do have any macaron questions, Jennifer might or might not be there. So I'm, catch I'm, her if you can. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna make this one. I feel like I can. I can get the this one. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us once again. Um, feel free to stick around for the rest of our conversation. I'm trying. I'm still looking at the pictures. I'm having a difficulty. I don't know why. It's just pictures. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, my computer is just ha I, has an attitude problem, like its owner. So, <laughs> well, we're gonna get it figured out. Um, we are also more than happy to post y'all stuff on Instagram and share anything you guys got because. You guys are awesome, and hopefully I can make it to the pop-up event as well because I really want to check it out. Mm -hmm. But I do Please. believe it's time. Yes. Potatoes of our little show here. Cassie Andor, played by Diego Luna, made his return to our TV screens just a few hours ago. And my, 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 what an awesome three episodes it was. There's Cassie right there. Look at him. Wow. Look at him. Look at Drink him. one version. Okay. Look at him. Oh, hello, Wait, that's my face. <laughs> look at him. Kind of out of focus. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, we got three amazing episodes of Andor. Um, <sighs> I don't even know where to start with this. Oh, well, I know where to start. Let's start where the show started. No. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. yes, Tracy, we're going there. Right off the bat, because that's what Andor did. The, right the credits the rolled in. Uh, which, by the way, the in, the opening credits, I'm not sure which one's longer. Our, our countdown or the Andor logo reveal. <laughs> um, but... Uh, <laughs> Love like for a second, time. I thought my phone had froze. I was like, "Wait, no, this is taking a while." Okay. Yeah, no, it's taking quite a bit, but it's fine. Um, after that, we opened up at a at the closest thing I think we're gonna see to uh, a, a brothel in a galaxy far, far away. Oh my god! Which you know, at three a.m., at four a.m., after spending all day the day before running around after children, being exhausted, because I work with kids, that's what I do for work. I, it took me a while, it took me a second. I was like, why does he keep, why Why does she keep offering people to him? Like, I'm confused. And then I was like, oh, oh, she. You know what's happening. This yeah. is Outer Space Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I expected Littlefinger to come out somewhere. Rip. Yeah, I was like, okay, so we're starting off pretty strong. Not in the areas I expected us to start strong in, but we started out strong. Oh, should we have put like a spoiler <laughs> alert for There's those who have it? In here. I don't know where it is. I'm just Spoilers. saying. Where is um, it? Sorry if we've already spoiled this. Yeah, you'll be fine. No, but... It's the first one. Like first two minutes, I think they'll be fine. Yeah, I'm just saying. But yes, um, the very beginning, right off the bat, I was not expecting that, which is, I mean, cool. And <laughs> and then um, uh, I was very excited <laughs> to get more uh, Scottish accents. In yeah. the Star War, um, yeah, yeah that, that threw, threw a loop too, and I was like, okay, they're, they're Scottish, nice. I um, and I'm just right off the bat, I noticed something different from Rogue One. Um, when Cassian unalived those two uh, security, those two security guards, um, he 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 kind of he hesitated, like. Yeah, he Heavy. hesitated and kind of panicked. But like in Rogue One, he was like, even to his own ally, he, he was like, he, you was know quick. About, he was like, you know I'm about to shoot you, right? Like, yeah. you know it's about like to he happen. had his homie, he was like, hey, listen, 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 just turn around. How? I was like, wow. Yeah, the con not the conjure club, guys. <laughs> ah, true, true. Um, yeah. So that was immediately I was like, oh, okay, so that that wasn't that's yeah, I mean. And it's 
it was cool to see like kind of like his origins, which were obviously not done same um, of how he came to be on this planet and how he noticed uh, and how he met the people who kind of took him in and why how he ended up on the planet he's on now with the best droid ever. I swear, every new droid, I'm like, I love you. You're my new son. <laughs> every every new droid. They just yeah. get cuter and cuter and more wholesome. Um, except Chopper. Chopper's a whole war criminal, but it's fine. <laughs> but <laughs> Chopper is my criminal. number one droid. <laughs> I was having a conversation earlier with Lauren about this. and But yeah, B2 Emo, I, I just want to hug him. It, yeah. it. I don't know if we have a pronoun for them so i just want to hug b2 emo so yes. much and maybe like install okay i tweeted about this earlier today just because of the whole name b2 emo um mm -hmm. i just want to install an ipod dock <laughs> like a 2000 <laughs> you know ipod uh ipod dock and just like you know just Put on yeah. the top of B two emo, <laughs> and then just have him roll around. Have them roll around. Um, yes, Slater Chopper, the galaxy, and just no Slater and Chopper. Let me tell you something about, about Chopper. This right here, this podcast, this Twitch channel is a Chopper stand account. Okay, point blank. Period. This is a war criminal stand account. Okay, Chopper. <laughs> From Star Wars Rebels is a war criminal, and that's fine. Well, Y'all <laughs> thought R two was the criminal, right? Chopper's the criminal. Chopper yeah, I think who is it? Time. Chopper has the highest kill count in the whole Star Wars universe, isn't it? Got it. You love to see it. Oh, Chopper! Yeah, chop, chop, chop. Um. What are some of y'all's expectations for Andor going in? Uh, no, not not Mothma Mothma left being season. a bad bitch. Mon Mothma being a bad bitch? Yes. I hope the next episode immediately has her in it. I don't want to wait. I'm tired of waiting. I want Mon Mothma right now. Um, I also want Saw Guerrero right now, but we can't have everything we want in the next episode immediately. So if I had to pick, Lies. Mama, and then we could get Lies, the um, So now that I just thought about it, like the amount of episodes that are in each season and how they're going by, I guess the first three episodes are like a lot of uh andor's story or he's like the main you know centered around him i'm thinking are they gonna have like arcs in three episodes and then maybe like a build up until and then like like a conclusion towards like the last maybe and like a ensemble as a type yeah. of thing 12. 12 yeah i don't know that's interesting that's a good point I never thought about that. Something to think about now. Yeah, I just, I just was like, new Star Wars. And, uh, <laughs> Star Wars. I love the Star Wars. Yeah. Um, I will say one thing that um, people are saying is like, we need more of this. Star Wars is more mature now because of this. And we need more of it. We need more of it. And people fail to realize Star Wars works best when it's a variety of stuff. So when you have a good thing, Everything doesn't have to be like it to be good. So we, you know, if really? the Ahsoka show doesn't have to be as mature as Andor, like we don't, Ahsoka doesn't have to go to brothel for it to be good. It can be kid friendly. And <laughs> um, He's not letting like, that go. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna let it go, Tracy. I'm not. And you should. I'm sure it. there's some fanfic. Probably out there with oh, that yeah. content. Already, like, people have already incorporated it into their own original character stories, and there's fanfics about it. Like, I'm trying to get on TikTok later this week, and the OCs that I follow, they're probably gonna have their character in a brothel somewhere, and I'm gonna be like, oh my god, okay, okay. Especially the Mando cosplayers who like think they were their way sexier than they all actually are. Um, I mean, uh. I'm gonna sip my tea on that one. Um, but, yeah, it's fine. I just can't wait to see my mothmo. 
honestly. Honestly. Um, yeah. Um, Mon Mothma. Um, oh, so going back to actually like the last, not the last three, the first three episodes, but like <laughs> the third episode. Uh -huh. um, I thought the third of the three that were released today, the third one was pretty dang ep epic. Yeah, the escape, them escaping the, yeah, the, uh, the B team. I call them the B team. I don't know what else to call them. Like, <laughs> the security, obviously, they clearly work for the Empire, but they're yeah. like giving very much B team. Mm. But yeah. can, I, can I say one thing? They 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 did it to themselves. Like y'all y'all knew y'all didn't have to follow this man outside. Y'all could have just minded y'all yeah. business, sip whatever drink you were drinking, and go back to your duties. No, you two decided yeah. to go pick a bar fight. Exactly. Mess around and find out. And guess what? And now their like out. coworker is like helping on trying to get justice for them. You don't even know who they Wait, were. And him too. Cyril, you don't even know who Cyril they reminds were. me of. Cyril reminds me of Randall from Recess. Like, dude, he is so. <laughs> is that his name, Cyril? <laughs> because Cyril his name is Cyril reminds me of Cyril from Archer. So. <laughs> oh no, not like, Cyril from Archer. Very, giving very much loser vibes. Like you're doing way too much, dude. Like even your boss is like he reminds me of Randall. Down. <laughs> like you, he you was can like, just it was like, it's like, dude, it's not that deep. It's it's really a, oh yeah, it is Cyril. Calm down. But spelled S with a C. No, not instead of a C, it's with an S. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, that just reminded me of Cyril from Archer. Cyril <laughs> Diggis. Oh, I hate Cyril so much. <laughs> yeah, dude, he just like... oh, Anyways. Oh, uh, did anyone watch Hot D this weekend? And by Hot D, I mean House of Dragons. Oh, Not yeah. some weird adult video. <laughs> Hot D. I put this in the show notes, so if anyone follows me on Instagram and saw my show notes, I put... Hot D, period, a.k.a. Hot Damn. Did y'all watch that episode? <laughs> also, I'm going to say this now. Hot take, because it's Hot D. Pardon my language, Twitch algorithm and YouTube algorithm once we upload it. But Allison Hightower is a hating ass bitch. Okay? <laughs> Miss Hightower <laughs> is a hating ass bitch, and I can't stand her ass. Okay, listen, okay. her entrance, her entrance, she was bad. Not gonna lie, her entrance, she was bad. But it, it, like, the Valerian's entrance was top tier, best oh, entrance. Yeah. You've been to Thrones at House of Dragons, it's the best entrance ever. But um, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw it on Sunday night, as she was walking in, the first thing I thought was Fiona from <laughs> Shrek. I couldn't Yeah, not. it was very much Fiona. Can, can I, can it was I, a badass moment. Not gonna but it, was, it was great, but <laughs> I don't want to take away. Fiona. Yeah, it was like, a badass moment, not going to lie. Like, it was pretty badass when she showed up in that green dress and her cousins were like, what light, what color does the light shine bright when the high towers go to war? And he said, green. And she had that bright ass green dress on. I said, oh, you bad. I still think you hate this bitch, but you bad. Okay. Okay, we're going to see how this plays out. You, you a hater. You know? And you know I feel and you know I feel some type of way when I prefer Damon over your hating ass. Because Damon is the ultimate hating ass man. Okay. How you gonna kill your wife? Who ain't had shit to do with nothing. You just you can do what it goes. Screw your knees. Uh, uh see, Damien, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. <laughs> Matt Damon Targaryen. Matt Damon Targaryen. Yeah. Oh man, House of Dragons. Game of Thrones is actually pretty wild if you think about like everything that happens. Like when it's all said and done, you're like, this was actually a pretty wild ass ride. <laughs> like, holy shit. Um. Yeah, I'm in the middle of listening to the uh, Fire and Blood audiobooks, and. So I know stuff that's going to happen uh -huh. because I like to spoil myself like that, apparently. And <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> um, but a lot of I thought we thought like this first half was wild, but 
wait till we get to these next episodes. Um, yeah. I am excited. I'm excited Just to see the performances chaos. of older Rhaenyra and Alicent's um, yes. actresses. I think they're going to do a good job. Um, just yeah. based off of what I've already seen, and the new and the new Le- what's his what's her husband's name? Lancel Le- Leon. I call him Leon. Lenor. Lenor. Yeah, he old old Lenor. He's not cute. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and then Rip. Uh, what's his name? Joffrey. I don't trust anybody named Joffrey. Sorry. Yeah. Even though I felt bad for him, don't trust anybody named Joffrey. No, I don't. Uh, and then I... That and then Kristen Cole, the disappointment. He Dude. should have just... The disappointment. Undid himself right there. Just keep the secret. You still get to F her. Who cares? <laughs> Dario Naharis did not have this much of a problem when exactly. Rhaenyra's great, great, great granddaughter did it. Why are you so pressed? He was like, y'all be inside, dude. Okay. <laughs> like, really? Like, come on. Ugh. Anyways. Uh, are y'all are y'all watching the Hot D, Gene and Jennifer, or? So I remember how traumatized I was reading the Song of Ice and Fire in high school. It was way before it was made into the show, and I was like, wow. Hot damn! This is allowed in a school library. This uh, is this is really this is something. The the Texas government got on everyone for ban and started banning books. All the parents. I have friends that are teachers, and the situation of banned books right now is wild. Is but I won't get into that. <laughs> also, Kristen expected yeah. a lot after having sex just one time. Yeah. Also, <laughs> is that not a is that not a allegory or a representation of how men act like nowadays? Like, dude, we met once. Calm down. <laughs> like, wow. Oh man, I did want to talk about She Hulk, but a I'm personally running out of time, and b I did not watch She Hulk last week, so I need to catch up. At this point, I might as well wait for tomorrow's episode to come out before I catch up. So, double watch. <laughs> yep, double watch. Yeah, I have lots to catch up on with She Hulk. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to turn it over to Anna and Tracy, and I'm going to head out. All right. Out. Peace out, Jordan. Yeah. Hopefully, you can come out on Saturday and yes. hang out. And Jim and Jennifer, thank you so much. For being here. Thank you for having us. It was a pleasure and chatting will, with you. And I will catch the rest of you later. Peace. So yeah, what so what have we done? Uh we talked I cannot about bring myself to watch She Hulk. I'm sorry. It looks so bad. <laughs> I think I think they took something that had so much potential. And and I know I'm probably wrong for saying this because I haven't watched it, but just the previews I've seen of it, I'm just like it's just so cringe to me. I I, I mean I I should give it a chance before I say that, but I just can't I can't watch it. It looks really bad. Yeah, I guess like I, as what uh, female yeah. owned industry, we still like you know female representation to look nice, <laughs> especially <laughs> on a big screen. I mean, I just started watching it like a few days ago, um, so I feel well, what like do I don't you have think too so much far? input. So far, I've enjoyed it. Um, let's see here. Oh, sorry. Uh, Jordan just messaged me. Um, but so far, I've enjoyed it, but I've just kind of just been doing stuff at the same time. But some of the things some I've seen the- like on Twitter, like people, like just talking about it. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't. Feel, I feel like I haven't watched enough to have a input yet. Uh, what about you, yeah. Tracy? Have you been- yeah, I've been watching it. I, you know, when they were first posting like the the trailers for it, I I was generally a little bit skeptical of like how the CGI looked, but now that you know us seeing the episodes, it's. They're they're growing on me. 
and I'm and I'm loving like all the callbacks to everything. I'm just I'm just enjoying more Wong time in another project. I feel like he they, really doesn't I need to be. Like, because you guys are saying you like it, I feel like they purposely tried to make the previews look cringy. Like, but it's not. Like everybody <laughs> says the same thing. Like it's it's not a bad show, but what they show of it in the previews makes it look bad. And that's how they get you. <laughs> get you the they're, 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 how about let's say like, they're growers and not showers? Yeah. It's like watching the it, previews right. to the Kardashians. You're like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. I would never watch that. And then you're like, I gotta watch that. <laughs> and here we are. Um, yeah. Um, what else? So we haven't gotten into stuff that you're into, Jennifer. Any TV shows, fun? I am currently, <laughs> I'm currently not watching anything, to be honest with you. I am protesting Netflix right now. So I I'm not even up to date on Netflix because they are the only streaming account I have that constantly lags. And I'm talking like lag, like, I don't know if you guys have ever played Warcraft. You're just like running in place and then all of a sudden you're like on the other side of the screen. And it's it's like lag like that. I've contacted them. I can't tell you how many times they said they would fix it. And finally, I was like, I'm just canceling my account then. So I canceled the account and I haven't been watching anything. So... I'm in the protest is probably hurting me more than it's hurting anybody. <laughs> <laughs> because they're, you're missing they everything. They don't care. You're missing all the things you. I'm sitting here and I'm like, help me. It's all right. I'll um, take over. My Netflix doesn't. That's actually lie. happened. That's actually happened with me with HBO Max. Like, for it'll it'll lag for like maybe 10, 15 seconds on like. The visuals, but like the audio is just still moving so along, running. and I'm just like, "What's yeah, weird is it's like, the only streaming platform that does that to me." No, like I have like everything, and nobody else that happens with but Netflix. Huh. So yet they want to price hike and tell. Yeah, I was gonna say to they want to up the prices too, and yeah, like Jesus Christ, you guys raise my membership every two months now. It's like twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty. Like, is it? I, is it every two months? I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Like, I, I mean, I, not I think literally. What was the last one? Sure you're okay. Not literally, but I feel like it is like a lot now. They raise the price. Oh, I think twice a year they raise the price now. So I've just been watching like American Dad and Family Guy reruns over and over <laughs> just to have like background noise while I'm doing stuff because I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Watch YouTube videos. I mean, like, really everything is on Netflix right now. Yes. I think Anna and Tracy could give um, Jennifer some audiobook recommendations. So keep her busy <laughs> while she bake cookies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I actually have no audiobook recommendations and uh, everything. I... <laughs> let's, see, I'm... let's see. What show am I watching on Hulu? Uh, the 911 series, that's what I've been like. Oh, yeah. Kind of, actually, I think. Didn't they? Didn't they see? Oh, it's back. It started. I'll watch that later. Was it yesterday? The other day? No, Monday? Um. So I'm not into the 911 show, but Jordan and Tracy, and then one of my friends, Sarah, is. And so I realized this quickly. And my friend Sarah calls uh, 911. So 911 is the show on Fox, if anyone's trying to figure out what we're talking about. Um, and so my friend Sarah calls it the Wee Woo Show. Because like an ambulance, Wee Woo, Wee Woo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so she like, it dawned on me. I was like, oh, we, I get it now. Um, so I noticed that they all like the Wee Woo show, and then I decided to put everyone in a chat called Yee Yee Woo Woo Wee Woo because the Yee Yee part <laughs> <laughs> indicates the so also 911 also has like a another 
show, I guess, like branch off <laughs> spinoff thing called Lone Star Nine One One, which takes place in Texas in Austin, if is I'm he, not mistaken. So is this like a actual like reality? It, no, it's not reality. It's drama. It's just like one of those like Grey's Anatomy esque type with like the emergency services. Um, and it's, shows. yeah, in that way. Uh, but it's not, it, it's just like the scene of the accidents is what's, um, kind of shown or whatever. So I put them all in this one chat. And so, uh, for anyone that is into that show, we will be probably talking about it sometime. I don't watch it. I've watched one episode in the first episode of season two, um, but yeah, for anyone that is into that show, prepare for to hear more about it. Yeah, kind of like, yeah, ER, but for first responders, basically. Okay. Like, the episode that I watched was the first episode of season two uh, of 911, and there was an earthquake that happened, <laughs> and it was showing I remember different that. sorts of views, and it was wild. They're trying to get those Just ER Steve. ratings. Like back in the day, see, isn't, it the season, isn't that the season when Buck got his light crushed by that fire truck? I don't, I don't know. I think so. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the Wee Woo show. Um, what else here? Um, and uh, but I can I can give some audiobook recommendations. It's all Star Wars though, and how how's the dragon song of ice and fire related though? So so Jennifer, maybe like next year by like May fourth, you can make like a Star Wars box. I think that would really work. Really I mean, well. I get a lot of people asking saying, me to do Yoda. Saying. Yeah, yeah. I I so I went to Disneyland right before COVID happened. And they had like a Yoda or baby Yoda um, macaron. I ate it. It was it was all right. Okay, so I, I think I would do baby Yoda. Yeah, I would because he's cute, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I like to do cute cookies. So I would definitely do baby Yoda. Yeah, but um, yeah, maybe we maybe I could do a box, a baby Yoda box. Well. Which is Pose okay. in different ways. So in uh season two of The Mandalorian, uh our buddy Baby Yoda. <laughs> this oh, is yeah, no, it's okay. But um in it's funny because Baby Yoda actually eats like cookies that look like macarons. They're like blue macarons. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So it would be really cool to do like one, you know big baby yoda macaron and then do like the, the little blue like macarons that sh we you're giving us a really good idea like we should watch the show together and then pick some elements that will work and then just put it in the box if you're oh, yeah. a diehard fan then you will know what it is yeah there's a lot of uh star wars things that are adorable and cute we can we can get together and think of something i'm sure pearl Pearl. Or or we just watch the show and then we just live right then go in the kitchen and like and then you're just gonna make, <laughs> make it make it in front of everybody like and it's either a success or it's a failure but it happens in front of everybody. I mean but we it, could do that. I could film that. But it's an adventure <laughs> nonetheless. Yeah, no, yes. that'll be so wild. That it sounds like awesome, a though. lot of fun. That that'd would be, so be a lot fun. of fun. That'd be crazy fun. And then, uh, speaking of this, Jennifer, aren't you uh, into this uh, horror film fest? You want to talk about that box? Because that box is freaking bomb. Oh, yes. Yeah. So yes. I'm doing a pop-up at the Houston Horror Film Festival, October 29th. And I'm going to be doing a horror-themed macaron box. So it's got Chucky. It's got the Scream guy. It's got Michael Myers. But... They're kind of all cutesy looking because I like to make them, you know, cute looking. I don't want them to look too scary. So, but I'm really excited about this because I love Halloween. Like, I love everything about it. 
And <laughs> I'm actually going to dress up this year and like be decked all out in complete costume with the boxes. So, and there's going to be like, not like super famous people there, like, but you know, like people that have played Michael Myers or Jason, you know, like those kind of famous people, like nobody like crazy famous. Although Corey Feldman's going to be there and I love Corey Feldman. So I am actually excited mm. about that because I grew up watching, you know, his movies. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love the Lost Boys? Like everything he did was like legit back then. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So, Just reminding me of, um, so when I went to uh, college over at UTSA, one of my, um, well, two of my roommates in college um, we used to go to Walmart a lot at midnight and dig around the uh, $5 DVD bin a lot. And ah. so, um, <laughs> one of my best friends, he, he collected all of the, uh, Freddy and Jason movies. Um, and so like random days of the week, like at least one day a month, they would like have movie marathons of all the nightmare on elm street movies um and so i they would start really early around like eight o'clock um so i'd be in my room i'd be like getting ready for class and then just like leaving my apartment and they already have like their beds like the mattresses from their beds set up on the ground and just laying there and like the first movie has already started and there's like what eight nine movies and then i will come back from class like later in the afternoon and they're still in the same spot yeah and then so i would like at, once i get back from class i just like join them it's like just watching those movies just brings back so many memories and but i wish we could be there but we're actually going to be in san antonio for a con yeah, it's uh, what's in San Antonio that time? Um, it's Big Tex Comic Con. Yeah, uh, Big Texas Comic Con. Um, so I tried it? to go to the Comic Con here, the last one, because I was like, oh, I'm do some, you, you know, comic anime. Palooza? Yeah, Comic Palooza was the one. They mm -hmm. wouldn't let me in because I was a food vendor. So they said they had contracts Wait, with. They said they had contracts with certain people that could only have food there and they could not serve food. Like I couldn't be a vendor. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it, it, yeah, that's a contract issue. Like, if they... Uh, we'll find a way to break yeah. it. <laughs> Which yeah. I think I would have done great there, but because I do like Sailor Moon and all kind of, you know, mm -hmm. macarons like that. So, but... I'm excited about this uh, Halloween one because it's Halloween and I get to dress up and I mean, it's, it's everything I love doing. I'm making cookies. I'm dressed up. I'm talking mm -hmm. to people. I, uh, you know, right. like it's, that's why I love doing what I do because I get to do what I want. So <laughs> it works out for me. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, they just told yeah. you no. I know. Um, yeah, because yeah, I mean, that's where them. we <laughs> that's where we actually started was at Comic Palooza. We ended up doing a uh panel there. Um, well, what was the topic? Star Wars. <laughs> um, oh, so it was uh Jordan's awesome. old podcast, and uh, which was also a Star Wars podcast, and we just kind of uh hung out and chilled and vibed and talked about Star Wars um the whole panel and then we just kind of did i at least what i did there was just hang out um i know lauren who's in the chat not not cool company she has a booth there um basically every much? year yeah she does uh uh graphic design and she has really cool art prints um on there if anyone um uh, wants to know it's not cool co she is on uh, instagram you can check out all of her stuff on there um what else is going on i think 
Um, yeah, I do have a quick question regarding because uh, you two yeah. obviously are the Star Wars uh, expert. So my roommate got a new Star Wars game on PS4 because, I mean, we're we're both somewhat gamer. Like uh, my specialty is in first person shooting games. Hers is more uh, fighting and strategy games. Okay. So he got, she got, what was that game? So what was the latest Star Wars game where you play as a female agent and then you're on Battlefront the Snef side? Yes. Yes. That game. Yes. So she got Battle Game and never started it. And I was like, yo, that's, that's money. Like you invest into it. Might as well, like, yeah. let me get into it. Cause I could get to shoot some NPCs. I started it <laughs> the, and it's incredibly story. challenging. Yes. Um, it's, I, it's mind blowing mm -hmm. challenging. Who said that it's beginner friendly? This is not for beginners. <laughs> I, I'm just like a run around and shoot type of person. Anyone that's played games with me knows I just like run in and shoot and just be stupid on games. Um, but it's a cathartic feeling just, just sitting is. there shooting an NPC for no reason. Yeah. Um, but, but you yeah, can't I shoot do... an Ewok. Okay, not in Battlefront. <laughs> in like a in you Lego Star Wars, Ewok. you can. <laughs> Either um, or, you cannot shoot. I, it's really unethical to shoot an Ewok. They do nothing. They're just there um, being cute. I need a I need to do a stream where I play Lego Star Wars. Actually, I can just play any of the Lego, not Lego, but the, any of the Star Wars games I have. But yeah, Battlefront. I do. Um, I mainly got it for the story mode that's on there, which I enjoyed. Um, and then sometimes I will like get on if I'm like in the mood to just be really stupid and like play as uh, Obi Wan or Anakin or Darth Vader and just use my lightsaber and run around like a big dummy um, and slash all the droids. Um, I like to do that. Um, but yeah, if if there's like a game. A Star Wars game that you want to get into, uh, if you're into just like RPGs, um, Jedi Fallen Order, I would recommend. Um, now that is canon, so um, like whatever. If you play that, then um, which I highly recommend. It's fun. Um, you, I mean, you kind of get some. There's like some like. Easter eggs and stuff, and yeah, you kind of get to learn like some like the Star Wars lore and things with that. If if you want to get into that, for anyone that's for like kind of new, getting into new like the Star Wars games that's not too into Star Wars, you know, um, that's like a fun one. In our game, where you don't need to park your ship like twenty times in order to get it right. <laughs> uh, you don't. You don't actually fly the ship. I'm but. so angry. <laughs> it it wasn't even shooting. I did perfect in all the shooting. I just parking this thing, getting this thing to fly. It was twenty times. Twenty times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> trying to think of anything else that happens in fall. I mean, there was a really long period of time that I took a break from Fall in Order, but I won't get into that. Um. What else? Though I do recommend if you like just casual playing and also learning more Star Wars stuff is even with like a bit of humor is uh, the Lego Star Wars game. Uh, the Skywalker Saga that came out earlier this year. Um, and then they're coming up with like an update in November where they're adding more character packs, which I'm really excited about because... Um, they're, they announced what? Andor, Obi Wan, Clone Wars, uh, Rebels, and then uh, Lego Star Wars or Lego uh, Summer Vacation, Star Wars Summer Vacation. And so I just found out a few weeks ago that you can have your character mount the astromech droids. So what the only um, form of transportation I've been doing playing this game is 
Obi Wan mounted on top of BB-8. It's the fastest oh. way. It's the best way to go. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I believe that. It sounds absurd but awesome. And Jennifer, I think you should make a lot of the BB-8 like macro. I think Ooh, that would be yeah. a good idea. I, I would say BBA like BBA and you know, Prog. Prog. We can just do I a watch theme a movie because Prog is cute. <laughs> We just do I a would, theme box, like, and, you know, just yeah. have all the cute ones. An Ewok, Baby Yoda, you know, just wh whatever. Just, just mix it up. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. I, I would totally buy into that. Um, but, yeah, no, uh, going back to the character packs, I just really want to do Summer Vacation Obi-Wan riding Chopper. <laughs> that's all i want that sounds like a tattoo i've been drawing this i would show it but my um ipad's charging right now uh maybe i'll post a picture later um but yeah um does anyone in chat have any comments questions or concerns or any questions for our amazing guests um gonna say oh, after I, I do this wanna... go ahead yeah no no sorry i i just uh remember you were showing a funk call earlier right i actually yes. just flew back from seattle and went to the funk call factory and customized Ooh. my own funk call, so that was pretty dope in everett i am jealous so <laughs> i actually <laughs> I used to do like whenever I got in the mood, I used to do like actually paint custom Funko Pops. Um, yeah, I didn't know that you guys are also into uh, figures. I was like, oh, surprise, because I am um, uh, semi yeah. collector. Yeah, I, yeah. I have my my. This my is Funkos one of my my, my Funkos are in my, my room, but collectibles. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a bunch of um. I have a whole, I have a lot um, that are in my room. I have a whole Star Wars glass case with a bunch of uh, Funko Pops and six scale figures. Um, it's fun. Also, like, very, like, hurts on the wallet sometimes, but you know what? It does. Oh, wait. And speaking is, of collectible, oh, go ahead. Oh, me. is that? Oh, oh my gosh, it's me. That's yeah, awesome. That is amazing. Where'd you get that done? Uh, my girlfriend. Oh, got hi, it kitty. Ooh. And uh, which, <laughs> which, uh, which cat is this, Jennifer? That's Chongqing. Okay, he is the. She's the spoiled little baby. Oh, the chunky monka. <laughs> Speaking of collecting things, I also collect fantasy pins, and so mostly Star Wars stuff. Um, and if anyone on the stream knows me, I love Obi Wan Kenobi. So most of my focus has been on. Obi-Wan Kenobi pins. So I just got this today. I'm very excited. He's a very big boy. He's four inches tall. Wow, that's oh a very God. large oh pin. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it because yeah. this is the this is the board. There's no room for him. You're gonna have to upgrade your board. I know I gotta get a bigger you, board. You need a bigger board. Or you could use yeah. it as a coaster. It's like a coaster size. Turn it into one of those bolo ties and just wear it. Yeah. That, that is going to be a big piece on a bolo tie. <laughs> 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 then that means you need, to get a, you need to get another to balance it out. Or you go it's like, uh, go about here. Like, like college. Yeah, these are mostly just Obi Wan, and then I have like him with Satine, and then like a thing with Anakin. So it's like not even. <sighs> but yeah, um, I collect fantasy pins. If anyone's interested in looking at my collection, I do have a separate Instagram for that. It's on, um, it's lol, 
pin lol.pins.omg if you want it's linked to my it's on my profile on instagram on zomg and uh, lolz um but yeah um I'm trying to think is there anything else that's going on soon other than the current shows that have been like cranking out awesome content um i'm in the middle of watching um rings of power but i feel like my so far what i've watched on rings of power and my knowledge on tolkien stuff i don't feel comfortable <laughs> talking about, about it content. just yet yes okay. uh, i feel like but do any of y'all are y'all into it are y'all watching read all of the books uh, including what was it yeah some of the spin-offs i didn't get to read um but yeah i'm i'm mo mostly on book yeah okay. i'm a book reader gotcha, gotcha. so all the have, knowledge like, comes from come reading on. it yep lauren come on and talk about lord of the rings because i know she's all about it um what else what what have you been up to we haven't even introduced you, Tracy. Like, we had the last episode and he wasn't there. And then no. Jordan just kind of went off and didn't even introduce everyone to Tracy. So we'll do this right now <laughs> towards the end of the episode. <laughs> like, I even named our first episode the Phantom Co-Host because he wasn't there. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, Tracy... <gasps> How, what, I'm trying to think of what questions we had for you or what questions we talked about or like intro. So Tracy, how did you get into the Star War? Here, hold on one second. Brownie, <laughs> cut it out. Okay. My son likes to be a big boy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think my, if I remember right, my first Star Wars movie was Attack of the Clones. And I was just like, I knew these, like, these guys are going to be a problem. And, <laughs> then when my, my, and then when my grandmother got me the next movie and I saw what happened, I was like, I knew it. You just don't come out the blue with a whole platoon of the same guy. And then for them not to be a problem. And then they just keep charting me more and more with all these different perspectives of Order 66. Like, if one more, if Dave Filoni does this to me one more time, I'm just, I'm done. I don't think I can go through another, somebody else's perspective on their worst night. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody had a worst night, but it's just like, the initial worst night of everybody in the galaxy. At least for the Jedi. At least at least for the Jedi. Just saying. I mean, everybody else is kind of like, well, do we follow the Empire or do we get shot at? I guess we won't get shot at. Oh, that's so awesome. And then, um, who is your favorite character in the Star War? Uh, or do you have one? Has, or do you have many, multiple? I ha I have many, but I kind of love BD. I'm actually I'm trying to find like a, a one of those BD BD drones so I can just have it on my desk. Oh, what? I saw a. I was at Barnes and Noble this past week, last week, um, and they had the uh, little BD one model that you could build out of Legos. Oh God. I oh was God. this close to purchasing it, but instead I, I bought the uh, Jedi Starfighter. Take it back. Go buy BD. I, I don't have the I've already built it, it, and it's Obi-Wan. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I, just, I know some people don't get the Star Destroyer, and I'm like, I don't have that kind of patience to put together the whole entire Star Destroyer. And then for something minuscule to happen, and I'm just like, I've seen people like put them together, and as a prank, somebody else will just come in and destroy the whole thing. And I'm just like, nothing, no, no amount of forgiveness is going to make me forget that 
I spent hours putting this fantastic piece together and you just came in and like destroyed it in less than a half a minute. <laughs> but I almost got, I was almost <laughs> close to buying the, um, the leg, the Lego version of the, um, infinity gauntlet. Ooh. All right. Well, I did I... see it in the store. It does look awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I love Legos. Um, so, well, I'm trying to think, um, I feel like, does anyone else in chat or anyone else hanging out just kind of have any questions, comments, or concerns once again, and not asking about the Sapphire stage? If not, then I think we might be done for the night. Um, so anyone that is in Houston... Uh, come out on Saturday, the 24th, and check out um, the uh, Galaxy and Constellation boxes from oh, Spreen. Hey. Um, Brownie, come here. The boxes look amazingly delicious. Um, and you all should check it out. Um, let's see here. Uh, do you want to drop out all the information and um you know promote anything else that y'all have going on i think currently it really is just this box come to uh giant leap from two to four in the afternoon and then after that we'll have one more box before the year ends that will be a winter box and the theme is two weeks notice <laughs> we're trying to give people the courage to uh because for us like we switch our career path earlier this year mm -hmm. from i've been doing life science research my entire life and then just recently dropped that dropped uh everything i'm familiar with and then pursue my passion full-time in food industry marketing mm -hmm. so i'm hoping right. to give other people the same courage to leave what you don't enjoy right now and then go pursue it it's never too late Awesome, awesome. And then where can we find you on all the socials? So uh, put in Sophie Marketing, S-P-H-Y-E-N. So that would probably be the best, the easiest ways to find us on Instagram. And then uh, our website is www.sophiemarketing.com. So these are all the ways to find us. And then same username for uh, Gmail. If you have any initial uh, additional questions, feel free to reach out with emails, uh, direct messages. We're super responsive, always online. And you can find me at Big Max, Big Max everything, Big Max TX. Uh, and also cookies are available seven days a week at Tom and Tom's, uh, the one on Alabama behind the Galleria. So if you just want to go try a cookie, like it doesn't have to be a specialty one. Obviously, I want you to buy the special ones, but those are limited quantities. So if you just want a regular one. Tom and Tom's is always stocked. They're open seven days a week. They have six different flavors to choose from. So that's where everybody needs to go get them right now. Awesome. Awesome. And then Tracy, where can we find you on the internet sphere? So you guys can find me on Instagram at lacking.normality as my username says here. I am on Twitch as lacking underscore normality. And actually, that's pretty much it. And my Twitter is also lacking underscore normality. Cool. And I've dropped the um, socials for um, Spreen and Big Max in chat uh, for anyone that is interested. And then y'all can find me, Z O M G Anna, L O L Z on twitter instagram those are the two that i use a lot um and then um you can find us tales from beyond the galaxy um on twitter tf btg pod um on twitter and then on instagram it's beyond the galaxy pod and then we're also we also have um our vod on youtube um, so our first episode is up on there and then we'll be putting 
this episode soon. Uh, and then after this at nine o'clock on YouTube, um, our friends um, and channel overlords, um, the Star Wars Underworld Network will be streaming and going more in depth on um, today's uh, and or release and amazingness. Um, and also thanks to, uh, once again, to the Star Wars Underworld Network for letting us um, join the network and everything. Um, honestly, it's this is pretty insane just to be able to talk to people and talk with a bunch of different people about pop culture and Star Wars stuff. So, um, yeah, if anyone else has any questions or you can just shoot us an email if you have any comments questions or concerns uh tales from beyond the galaxy at gmail.com and with that um i think we're um good for the night and everyone have a good rest of the week and we will see y'all next week as we talk the next episode um and other good fun stuff so everyone have a good night and may the force be with you always Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs>